guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm finally going to be reviewing the ColourPop Time Star Wars, The Mandalorian eyeshadow palette. I did receive this in PR a couple weeks back and I'm finally reviewing it. It's just, there's been a lot of things to be reviewing from ColourPop. But I hope today's video will help you guys out. You guys know the typical rundown. I'm going to share my thoughts, swatches, comparisons, and I also have my three looks towards the end of the video using the eyeshadow palette. So if you guys are curious about any of that, then please continue watching. Okay, first things first, the design, the packaging. It is so, so adorable. I personally have not seen Star Wars. Um, I don't really know much about it. I feel like you guys may be noticing that I actually haven't watched a lot of movies, but I can appreciate it. I think it's really, really cute. My boyfriend thinks this is really cute as well, and he never calls anything cute besides our cats. It is in the cardboard packaging, and it also does have a little mirror inside as well. But in the palette, you will receive four mattes, one sequence, three metallics, and one super shock shadow. So you do get a really good range, and the shades, of course, will consist of beautiful muted olive tones. So just diving right into my review, if you want to compare this to some of Colourpop's other green palettes, for example, Just My Luck and Meant To Be, I feel like out of the three green palettes that Colourpop has to offer, I feel like the Child palette is probably the most approachable and the most everyday friendly to wear because the greens in here you get are very olive and they're also a little bit muted so they're not so bright and intense because the Just My Luck palette is definitely more of that true green which can be a little bit more intimidating and also has a lot of deeper shades in there and then the Meant To Be is more on the pastel side and that can also be a little bit intimidating to wear as well and how to work with pastel colors but I think the shades in The Child is definitely more approachable and it's definitely easier to take on and because you have this row here on the side I feel like you can work with these and then add in the muted olives to create create a very everyday look and it's not going to be too overwhelming to take on. So if you guys wanted to get into green eyeshadow, I would say this one is probably really ideal because it's the most wearable in my opinion. You don't feel like you're like jumping too much out of your comfort zone, but you're dipping your feet in, you know? And I also feel like the range in here, they really did cover everything. So you get your light transitions, your mediums, and then also your dark tones. And I also think with the metallics, you also get a range as well. So I think overall, they did do a really good job of picking out the shades. So I really did enjoy this palette and I think it's a really great addition to my collection. So I know my review portion was a little bit short, but I just wanted to keep it short and sweet because I feel like with so many palettes coming out, I do sound quite repetitive and I do feel sort of the same towards almost every palette. I think they all work well. Color story is nice. It's all up to your preference. And I do think the Chad palette is a unique one. So I don't really want to say too much. I want the comparisons and the swatches and the looks to speak on their own and you guys can decide whether you want to purchase or not. But yeah, with that being said, we can just move into the three looks. So to get started with the first look, I'm going to start off with the shade Little Frog and this is going to be our transition shadow. So I'm just going to work that into my crease using windshield wiping motions. I'm going to blend that up towards my brow bone and also towards the outer third of my eyes. I bring the same shadow onto my lower lash line as well, just sweeping it from the outer corner right to the inner corner, but making sure at the outer corner you are connecting the shadows. Next, going into the shade Float Your Crib, I'm gonna use this to start deepening out the outer third of my eyes. So I'm just gonna pack on the color at the outer corners using circular motions, and then I'll slowly blend that towards the middle of my eyes, but you do want the most pigmentation at the outer corners. Taking that same shadow on a defining brush, I'm gonna bring this onto my lower lash line, but I'm only gonna press it against my waterline at the outer third of my eyes, and again, connecting those shadows at the the outer corner. Next, taking the shade Sipping Soup, I'm going to place this at the inner third of my lid space. I'm going to diffuse this out and blow it out towards my crease area and also towards the middle of my lid, I am blending that into the mattes so that way it just looks very seamless and very diffused out. 
Now I am taking the shade Right Hand Mandu and I'm going to use this shadow to highlight my inner corners. I'm going to blend that into Sipping Soup as well, but it is such a beautiful green combo. And now I'm taking my brown liquid liner from M Cosmetics. I'm going to use this to line my lash line and also create a wing. I go in with a black eyeshadow and also the dark brown shadow in the palette as well. I take a mixture and I'm going to use this to sort of smudge and extend and sharpen my wing out. And now I'm just going in with the creme gel liner from Colourpop in the shade Honey Dude. And I'm going to use this to tight line my bottom waterline. This is going to open and brighten up our eyes. And and lastly, I am just popping on my false lashes. These ones are from Petite Cosmetics in the style Honey. And this, you guys, is the first look completed. I am obsessed with the final outcome. I live for a green monochromatic moment. I think the tones in this look is just stunning. It's like a muted olive green, which I love. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first look as well. And now we're on to the second look. I'm gonna start off with the shade Just Like a Tattoo-in. And I'm going to use this as my transition shadow. So just working that straight into the crease using windshield wiping motions like always. I'm gonna blend that up towards my brow bone and also towards the outer corners as well. I take the same shadow onto my lower lash line just to give a bit of definition. Then going into the shade Droid Protocol, I'm just taking a teeny tiny bit onto my brush because we are pretty much jumping from a light transition shadow to a pretty deep dark shadow. So just take a little bit on your brush, pack that on at the outer corners of your eyes and also at the inner third of your eyes and get that blended out first. I'm also going to take the same shadow onto my lower lash line as well. I'm going to use this to define and press that up against my waterline. Then I'm going to use the shade The Force and I'm going to stamp that on at the center of my eyes. I'm really going to diffuse this out at the center so just bring that up all the way past my crease and blend that into the mat at the outer and inner edges so that way everything can just look diffused into each other. I then go in with my brown liquid liner. I'm going to use this to line my lash line and also create a wing. I do go back in with Droid Protocol, which was the dark brown that we used to smudge and smoke out my wing. Then taking the creme gel liner in the shade Sunny Veil, I use this to tight line my upper and also my bottom waterline. And then to complete the look, I am wearing falsies today. These ones are from Petite Cosmetics in the style Fresh. Alright you guys, so this is the second look completed. I wanted to do something a little bit more on the neutral side and I guess something a little bit more wearable without the greens. So this is what we have and also another halo eye because I know you guys love this technique. But I really love the final outcome. I think this is super wearable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second look. And now we're on to the final look. I'm gonna start off with the shade Baby Face and this is going to be our transition shadow. So I'm just gonna work that into my crease using windshield wiping motions. I do focus most of the green at the outer third of my eyes, but then I end up blowing all of it towards the inner part of my eyes as well. I also take the same shadow onto my lower lash line to give definition to the lower lash and also to just kind of connect the shadows at the corner. 
I'm then gonna go into the shade Droid Protocol and I'm gonna start creating my wing with this dark brown eyeshadow. You can see that I am taking some of that brown eyeshadow onto my lower lash line, like aligning it along or with that wing. But then we're gonna spice up the liner a little bit by making it a graphic liner. So just taking the point of the wing, I'm gonna connect it along my crease line. So I did struggle a little bit today just because my eyes are a little bit more uneven than usual so I did just had to create sort of a fake crease on the eye that you're seeing me do now and I'm going in with my other brushes to like poke my crease so I can see where it will line up so that way it could match my other eye that's bigger than this eye if that makes sense I'm now gonna go in with the shade precious cargo this is the super shock but I'm gonna take this on a little brush and I'm gonna use circular motions to diffuse this out at the inner corners of my eyes and also at the inner third of my lid. If you want this to be super metallic then I would suggest using your finger but because I only want the little glitters and sparkles to shimmer through I am taking on a brush and just really blowing and diffusing this out. I go back in with Droid Protocol which is the dark brown and I take that onto my lower lash line connecting that wing once again and I'm going to mainly focus the shadow at the outer corners and towards the middle of my eye. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. And now I'm just going in with my brown eyeliner. This one is the shade Sunny Veil, the Crim Gel Liner. I'm gonna use this to tight line my upper waterline as well as my bottom waterline. And then I'm just going to pop on my lashes. I'm wearing the Petite Cosmetics Lash in the Style Birdie. And this, you guys, is the final look completed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can tell, I've been loving this graphic eyeliner technique a lot recently. I just really like how it looks on my eye shape. And it's just really fun and also really easy to do. So I've been really loving this technique. Um, and I hope you guys love it too. And I hope you guys love the final look. Alright you guys, so those were the three looks completed. Be sure to let me know which look out of the three was your favorite down below. I would love to hear your feedback and thoughts. And if you guys did enjoy this video, I would love if you could give the video a thumbs up for me. It does help me out a lot as well. But with that being said, that is going to complete today's video you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Come and join our little wholesome family here. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!